Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Today I am sharing five different decor items that will really help to elevate the style of your kitchen. So if you struggle with decorating or maybe you've just grown tired of the look of your kitchen and you don't really know how but you'd like to change things up, this video is for you. I personally have, these are like the five, there's so many items I could say you should have in your kitchen, but I feel like from my personal experience, these are the five items that make the biggest impact in my kitchen. Um, just to give a little background, when we bought this house seven years ago, it was a spec home. So everything was already built. Everything was, you know, all the materials had already been picked out. This kitchen was already as is. So I knew eventually we want to change this kitchen and make it our dream kitchen. I would like to have lighter cabinets. We currently have, you know, dark cabinets and dark flooring. So this can really become a dark space. And so until we're ready to take on that project, this is the kitchen that I have to work with, which is definitely a beautiful kitchen, but um, it's not quite my dream kitchen. Um, so I have found that adding these things to my kitchen have really helped to style it and give it the aesthetic that I'm looking for. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy these kinds of videos. Subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you. I do all kinds of home content on my channel. I also do some lifestyle content from favorites videos, shop with me's, day in the life's, a little bit of fashion, that kind of thing. So if it interests you, hit that subscribe button. And without further delay, let's get started. But the first item I want to talk about are cutting boards. Now, I love them because they're not only functional, they definitely are decorative and they really are a way to add a bit of warmth in your kitchen, especially if you have an all white kitchen, just the brown tones can add so much coziness to the kitchen. And this is definitely a very trendy item that has really trended over the last probably two to three years. and. I don't know what took me so long to jump on the trend. I think I just added this maybe like a year ago. And this particular um, cutting board is from Ikea. I love how large it is. It was highly affordable. And again, it's something that's, you know, has, it's multi-purpose. You can, it's usable, but also looks so decorative. I love having it here behind my stove top. And then I do have another cutting board over here. Let me just move these canisters out of the way. But I want to talk about this cutting board right here because this is gorgeous. I got this from World Market and ideally I would like to have this stacked with the other cutting board. I love that look of stacking multiple colored or multiple shaped cutting boards together. Um, but there's just not enough room to put this one over there with that one. But this one is perfect to use as a cheese board. And I, again, I love that it serves multi-purposes. You know, when I'm ready to use it for entertaining, I have it readily available. I don't have to keep this hidden in my cupboard. It's too pretty to keep hidden. So I love having it out on display on my countertops. And let me just show you a little bit close up of how pretty this one is. It's very heavy duty, but that is actual marble. And then I love the mix of the wood detail there. It's so pretty. The next item I want to talk about are these canisters. Now, these ones I got from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago, and I just love the modern and yet minimalistic look of them. I literally have had them on my counters ever since I got them. They're just a great way to have, you know, those kitchen staples, the flour, sugar, you know, ready to use, and yet they're in decorative jars. And there are so many different canisters out there to choose from. Even Walmart has a great selection at very affordable prices. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a really nice looking canister set. Um, I think this Hobby Lobby set was, I can't remember the exact price, but it was highly affordable. I decided to get behind the camera to talk about the third item, and that is a tray. 
or riser to display your hand soaps. This is just such a great way to really stylize your kitchen sink area. And I picked this one up recently from Home Goods. It's just actually a pot holder, and I just love the wooden color of it. I thought it would be perfect for summertime. Normally, I have a white tray that I keep my hand soaps on, um, but this is just a nice summery look. And I highly recommend that you take your hand soap and put it in a nice decorative dispenser. This one I got from Costco, I believe, but I have a bunch of these amber jar type or amber glass dispensers that I purchased from Amazon and I'll have them I'll have it linked down below if you're interested but I just love that look it just really elevates your hand soap and then I did add this little plant to, to give some life to the kitchen I say life even though this is a faux plant but you know it looks real I actually got this from my mom she gifted this to me this is so cute it's like um it's from target i think it's by the hearth and hand collection but how cute is that so i love just adding that little you know plant there for some visual interest and then i just have this um this little brush dish brush number yeah. four is to use a decorative bowl, a tray, or a vase that will be the focal point of your kitchen. And for me, I love having a nice centerpiece on my kitchen island. Nothing that's going to overwhelm the island. I don't want it to be in the way or to obstruct my view because we use this counter space a lot, um, whether the kids are sitting here and eating or I'm prepping food. So I want something that's going to be easy to just move out of the way. So for now I have this decorative bowl. It's actually a salad bowl that I got from Home Goods, and I filled it with these faux artichokes that I got from Amazon, believe it or not. How cute are these? I am so in love with these guys. I'll have these linked down below if you're interested, but these just are perfect such a perfect summer look. But also if you wanted to add a vase with some, you know, some real flowers, it's such a pretty look, or even some faux stems. I feel like it really brings life to the kitchen and just elevates the style. Finally, number five is to add a shelf or shelves to your kitchen. I feel like these shelves have, have definitely made the largest impact in my kitchen. These we got from Ikea and I was torn as to whether I wanted to put white shelves up there or some wood colored and ultimately I decided on these white shelves because I wanted to brighten up my kitchen and guys I'm in love with these shelves. I love that you can use them to display your serveware that's really too pretty to keep hidden in your your cupboard so I have you know this decorative bowl and that I think is so pretty. And then I have this pitcher, for example. And then up here I have a cake stand and some little plates, some more little serving bowls there. But it's just a great way to have those pretty items accessible for when you need to use them. And yet they're, you know, they're pretty to look at. You can have them out on display. And I love adding or changing these shelves up for the different seasons. I have so much fun doing that, decorating them for Christmas, for springtime, for fall. Um, and I often will stop by the Target dollar spot, um, you know, for each new holiday or season. And you can find so many stylish, affordable items in the, the Target dollar spot. But yeah, I highly recommend finding an, a wall to add a shelf that you can you know, display your nice serveware, even put some cookbooks up there. As you see, I have another cutting board up there, but again, this has made the biggest impact to the aesthetics and just the design style of my kitchen. I almost forgot to mention these two items right here. You have to have two adorable pups in your kitchen sleeping away like they always do whenever I film. For some reason when I film, it just completely <laughs> songs them out. Sadie, are you tired girl? 
Oh my goodness, they are so precious. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this helpful. Hopefully it gave you some ideas and inspiration of different ways that you can style your kitchen. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned because we are currently working on a new home project that I cannot wait to share with you guys. We recently had a patio installed on our lower level and we've just purchased some patio furniture for that space and I'm just excited to use it this summer and I thought I would take you guys along with me as we add landscape and just really transform that lower area. Um, I'm just so excited about it. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already because you won't want to miss it. I'll probably do a two-part series, you know, part one maybe showing you how it looks right now with the new furniture and then share a part two of you know the final outcome with all the landscape and that so if that interests you hit that subscribe button but again thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day and i will see you in my next one take care